So, uh, welcome back. We got the champions of rounds one and two battling each other. Um, bo both both you guys are two friends of mine, so we decided to put them on. Um, last time these two played on camera, Luke is a Luxac and ripped back-to-back -back Cocos. And so we want to see if he does it again. Um, so, um, so, if you guys are watching the stream, y'all know I've been saying, In the arms of an angel. Like, I don't know why, it's actually stuck in my head. So, the reason why that's stuck in my head, um, I watched a YouTube video if Giovanni had assistant from, like, the main villain from the original Pokemon series, Giovanni. It is system basically where, um, hey, you should actually commit real crime. You're a crime boss, right? So, um, and shortly, like, they, um, end up, uh, killing one of the ki the trainers, they, and to hide the evidence, um, they, uh, have a Voltorb, uh, use explosion, and, like, when he used explosion, he was like, In the arms of an angel, like, to expose the audience, and, like, I just found, I found it hilarious. So we got an Inquisition here from Feral. So if I imagine he's probably going to take Lead to Stampede because that's the grindy card here. Uh, maybe like one of the three mana door. Yep, it was Lead. And welcome back, young Kyle Palmer. Um, so I was thinking about just having Robert commentate this round by himself. I mean, I've done it before. Yeah, I, you know, I know Luke. You, have. you know, Luke is a cat, cat mom. Why is Luke a cat mom? He has a hat that says cat mom. Oh. Are you sure his mom isn't a cat? He might. <laughs> Which one is it? Both. <laughs> In... I feel like Clan Call is correct, especially with having a bolt. Well, he doesn't have a red source currently, which is awkward. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like the roar. It's the sound of a cat mom. Yeah, the cat mom. Luke T's cat mom. Oh, he does not have a red source. This is kind of awkward, actually. Yeah. He's going to Maelstrom Pulse to his lane of maybe? Um, we, it does. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right, we got Young Missouri. Three mana two twos. Yeah, man. I live for those. So he probably has a company in hand or a lead of Stampede. <laughs> this is a game's awkward. Yeah. Maybe he's going to get five mana. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. What, what's the cat mom? Oh, Luke's a cat mom. His, his hat says cat mom. Apparently. Well, no, not this hat. He is a cat oh, hat. He has another hat? Yeah, he, he's a Soviet Russian hat and what, a cat mom hat. What are we doing, Robert? What do I walk into? Um, A lot of things. Yeah. So you know what Assassin Trophy did right here? It gave Luke the fourth mana for the sweet, sweet company. It did. Uh, Luke's Luke's out here casting two two bears. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So Cat Nabs, apparently, what's going on here is Robert's making up stuff. Oh yeah. I mean, what else is new? Why didn't he fetch his watery grave and stubborn denial? It. Oh, uh, that would have been big brain plays. Yeah. You know the big brain. So we're getting the red force for sure here. You know? I mean, cat, Luke does own a cat. If that helps you, Cat Nabis. Do you own a cat? I feel like Cat Nabis has to own a cat. I mean, hopefully there's an actual cat involved. Yeah. I'd be quite disappointed if there wasn't. He's just getting torn apart. Yeah, man. But, like, Feral's running low on resources. And Feral's at five. Get into the chopper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go. Uh, like this. Coca. <laughs> Yep. All right, here's a whiff. No, that's double... Sh that's lethal? <laughs> no! You're just dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so could uh, just attack. Had to flex. Yep. <laughs> so, no, I was talking about how last time Luke and Feral played, uh, Luke was a Luxac and drew, like, three companies in a row. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's what happened. 
Yeah. I mean, Farrell's hand had everything. He just didn't have a clock. That's the that's yeah. the main thing that happened there. If he had a clock, that would have been a different game. Cat Navis, I wish we had a cat cam here. Yeah. It would just be a picture of me. No. We, we need to get a store cat, and we need to have a cam for it. All right. What, what would the cat name be? Grumpy? Um, Rumple Skin? Um, nah. It would be Sylvester? The, uh, it would be the typical magic name. and would name it a Johnny. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, we can name it um, Wind Grace. Yeah, yeah I'd be, be down, down for that. Wind Grace. I'd call it Lord. Yeah, same. Lord Wind Grace. I mean, a cat. Um. <laughs> yep. So. Oh, how's everyone doing this fine? It's Tuesday, my dude. It is Tuesday. Yep. My dude. My guy. I ain't your guy, pal. Hey, you know how like a lot of people started saying my guy? I, I guess, yeah. Name it Pride Mate. I'm here for a good... Yeah, yeah, Neil Rocks. You're here for a good good time. We have a cat at work, Gremlin. There's an OGS in Oklahoma that has a shop cat. Um, the only like only like problem with shop cats is like people have like allergies. So yeah. like that's like probably like a big thing of the logistics of having a shop cat. And um, the dander would kind of get all over the cards. Yeah, so, like, if you have a shop pet, I'd, like, recommend, like, a goldfish. Or, like, a dog. Uh, or, like, I mean, an iguana. Chinchilla. Um, How about a bat? There's not many people that are allergic to bats. Yeah, I mean... We can get a big fruit bat. Yeah. We, we could get a lemur. Oh, dude, that'd be rad. Dude, or we can get, like, a uh, Komodo dragon. Yeah. Do you think anyone would be opposed to that? I don't think so. And, like, we just, like... Cut, so, like, we take the back room, like... Cut, we th so, like, Komodo Dragon needs all of that, right? It doesn't need that much. I mean, it, it does need a large area. Mike Bassford actually specializes in uh, reptiles now. So we really? So a reptile from him. Oh, dude. Yeah, him and his friend own a reptile business. Dude, like, we could probably fit out a room. To, a, sloth, like, a sloth would be sweet. A uh, sloth are scary. Have you seen those claws? Uh, I mean, yeah, but they're they're vegetarians. But if you Fruit make bats it, are super cute. If you make, if you make a sloth mad, that, that's not a good time for you. We were just at the Wild Animal Reserve last week in California, yeah. and they had fruit bats. Not me and Kyle. Kyle and his girlfriend. Kyle and my girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> my, my girlfriend and I. Yes. <laughs> Third person here, Robert. Third person. Anyway, the fruit bats had a baby, and it was just like wrapped around the mama fruit bat while they were hanging. It was really Kyle, and, Kyle and my girlfriend. Kyle and my girlfriend. Who are you then? Kyle. <laughs> Third person, Robert. Come on. Give it the program. Oh, this is a bad hand here for... That is a bad hand. I think it was hoping let's like, get the lead stampede. But I... We don't guess this. When there's lead, guess what's going to happen. Why Why did I not play the Bloomin' Marsh? Because he didn't want to. But... But... So he can cast his thought not to your next turn. But... Th there's a Bloomin' Marsh in your hand! You didn't want to play it. Luke, I'm I'm going to go out there and punch you. This is actually telling me. <laughs> is it telling you? No. I mean, it's kind of funny. That uh, it's tilting you. I mean, do you, like... Was that a woodland? No, that, that, no that's a blue marsh. I kind of wish we went into the San Diego Zoo. We went to the Wild Animal Reserve instead, but... Uh, seeing a polar bear would have been sweet. Why is... So... So another thing uh, uh, young Luke's doing wrong is he was playing, uh, he played, so he drew that land for turn, mm -hmm. and he decided to play instead of the known information of either the Blue Marsh or Land Oasis in his hand. Yeah. So like. Because it tilted you. It could be, it could even be a boat. It could be two more lands. It could be two more Blooming Marshes. I want to talk to this, Luke about this. <laughs> Like, no, like, so. So, well, explain it, Robert. Why, why, why should he play with the cards that his opponent knows about versus the cards that his opponent doesn't know so, about? So, the reason why you should do that uh -huh. is because, so, you give away, so, your opponent knows information about your hand. Right. And, like, yeah, that happens, right? Um, so then you play cards that give away that, so instead of playing, like, the known information to get that away first... 
Luke is assigned to play the unknown information, so like Farrell still knows like two of the cards in Luke's hand is lands, and that that's not good. Why? Because that means that means less likely Luke has gas. Because why? I want to punch you. <laughs> and you know the other good thing about playing this blooming marsh, he had to tap that land of our ways for green mana, so he had to lose a point of life. Yeah. He wouldn't get to do that if he played the blooming marsh. It's a feature, not a bug. I don't know about that one. Take six. Anger? Are you angry? Oh, no. Assassin's Trophy one time. There's that blooming marsh, Robert. Yeah, you've been wanting to see. It should have came down a lot sooner. Is Robert hangry? No, I'm not even hangry. I'm just towed off by my friend. I think he is hangry. No. He doesn't want to admit it. You're hangry. I just had an apple. It was apparently full of worms. I just had a bag of chips last round. Uh, so I think this is Feral's game. I mean, he's just going to get another clan call right here. Or he could guess Coco. Oh no! Alright, now he's gonna bolt the other clan caller and kill them both. Oh my god. Like, so. I'm only allowed to be this tilted, and I wanna give him so much crap because, like, how good friends we are. Mm -hmm. I mean, like. The best part is, I wanna bet that Luke is doing it to tilt you. No, I don't think he is. If I was Luke, I'd be doing it to tilt you. If I was Luke, I'd be playing a Tristani to tilt you. Oh. I would be splashing white for a Tristani. Why well, am I not surprised? <laughs> is, oh, it's a shame Tristani's not a human. Otherwise, I'd play it modern. And that's like only sided in against me? Never, yeah. No one else? Right. Even when it's actually like respectable? How, how would you feel if I, if I played one against you in modern? I figured out a way, some way to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> Good nine. You're you're gonna be playing threads of disloyalty. And you're gonna threads of disloyalty. It. You can't. Yeah. It's good. Oh, is it CMT? Okay. I always think that threads <laughs> is power to less, not CMC to less. <laughs> I actually can't, Kyle. You're gonna shackles it. There you go. Ooh. Oh, this card is what uh, Luke could need. Oh. That, that, that. Yeah, he said he tapped wrong. I mean, Luke is has a... Marsh messing him up again. Luke has an army right here. Yeah. Luke has a little army. Don't make fun of the size of his arms. His arms are perfectly normal sized. No. No. I think we need to block here. Oh, wait, no, that's lead to Stampede. So there's only one creature in the graveyard? Yeah. It's not only six. What I'm so confused. Good? What's going on? I'm not sure. I think he drew a Coco. Oh, Bolt. Was that a Coco? Or was it not? Um, no, it was an Assassin's Trophy. He's gonna say, <laughs> Look at Justin! He's like, I'm so mad at you, Luke. If it was a Coco, then you should have Coco in response and maybe hit Double Shaman. But... Well, that yeah, that would have killed. Right? Yeah. Double Shaman would have. Yeah, just like you. So, we do have a giveaway tonight. We do have a walking ballista to give away. Standard procedure. Um, 25 points per ticket. Um, you get 
Uh, blah, blah. Five points for every ten minutes for watching. Ten minutes if you subscribe. Ten points if you're a subscriber. Five hundred points for first uh, subscribing. Fifty points for following, and a one one to one ratio for every bit you donate. Yep. Yeah. So you see Falco right there. He has five thousand points. Lillian Bender, 2,000. Yeah, and for everybody that says that they like me more than Robert in chat, you have my graces to win this. So no one? Well, I mean, we'll see. Yeah. All right, so uh, uh, let's start a poll. Press 1 if you like Kyle. Press 2 if you like me more. It's not fair. Teddy's not here. <laughs> Why? Because Teddy hates me. Wait, you act like I need Teddy. Yeah, you need Teddy. Otherwise, it's all just going to be, see? Awkward Ninjas, you got me. Nope. Who's Awkward Ninjas? I feel like I know that person. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah, he like won the uh, box topper. Oh, yeah. Wait, Awkward, I opened the Karn. Wait, no, it wasn't Karn. He won the Emrakul. Yeah, I opened someone a Karn on stream. Not he, they won the Emrakul. Can you give people your points? I didn't actually know you could transfer points. I mean, I can't. I can. It would be unethical. Yeah. Because <laughs> I stole a lot. That's fair. I'm sorry, Cat Navis. I do not have the technology. Pendlehaven, sweet pickup, bro. So I don't want to like lay play a lot of land Elves right here. Why is uh, that? Um, Electric Curry. <laughs> I don't know. What about a uh, blooming marsh? Would you play that? Uh, yeah. Ethics. Cat Nav just wants the points. She doesn't care about ethics. I agree. Mm. Nah, man, red mana. There you go. It's two ones. Uh, what, Zero twos. What, what, what the? What the heck, chat? I thought you all loved me. I'm Bob Beal. Love me more, Robert, because I don't scream in their ears. In the arms of an angel. I also don't do that. <laughs> what? You're right. So, an anger right here would be pretty bad here for um, young Luke's D's. Luke D. Luke D's. Pyroclasm would also be pretty good. I don't think he's playing Pyroclasm. I agree. It'd still be pretty good. Luke complained about the scavenger and he was saying like, oh, we're dead now, boys. We done so. It's literally anything at all. We're dead. Mush. 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 Hush. Mush. So if you had the anger of the guys in hand, would you cast that scavenger goose? No. Yeah, me neither. So I don't think he has an anger. Collector brutality. Yeah, Minier's pretty cool. That's brutal. Yeah, you can pick Minier. Uh, Minier is uh, number four. Yeah. Wait, who's number three then? Shh. Let's see if they get basic math. <laughs> three is Justin. <sighs> Nobody's allowed to know that, though. Ooh, this is aggressive. Ta oh, wow. Jeez. Anger, one time dealer. Anger, anger, here anger, we go. anger, anger. Nah, he'd slam it if he had it. He was Five. Anger. Ooh. Oh, so you like Luke the best cat. Luke Browning, Luke Ties. Luke Ties. Luke T is a commentary one. It's always an option, Cat Nabus. The sky's the limit. So, I want to use this um... Awkward Ninja. Oh, thanks for subscription. Thanks for the sub. No, Matthew was four. I'm one, Robert's two, Justin's three, Luke, or er, Matthew's four, Luke is five, and we'll make up. <laughs> we whiff with the leech stampede. Jeez. Ah. <laughs> we did. Luke won. Luke T's won. I don't know how. So, do, do you think that the creature deck typically beats the creature removal deck? Yeah. Yeah, no, like, typically, no, like, every time I play Jun, uh, I feel L's is fine. Yeah. Yeah. 
Fair enough. Because well, like, I feel it, like if you had drawn a remover or a master removal spell there, like anger or damage. Oh yeah. What's up, Goober? Person. How you doing? Hey, is, Goober. I mean, Dig Dug One isn't there. You know, with if invo- there's beer involved, you're with Meadows. Yeah. I mean, I like beer. Yeah, you do, Robert. I think it's kind of debatable which one of us could drink more beer. I actually don't know if we're allowed to talk about this on Twitch. I don't think we are. Uh, we were talking about water. Yeah, so who do you think could drink the more... Yeah, so, yeah, we should figure out who can drink the most water in one sudden one time. Yeah, that sounds dangerous, though. You actually kill yourself if you drink too much water. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, I mean, I mean, anyone can, like... You know, so, like, I was going to say we both be smart about it, but I know we both wouldn't want to lose. So, actually, actually, no, let's not do this. Yes, please. You could just concede now. Well, I mean, I'm not conceding. I'm this chug milk. Yeah, that doesn't sound very smart. So, considering I'm lactose intolerant, that seems real rough. I mean, I'll do it if you will. Are you lactose intolerant? No. Yeah, that doesn't seem very fair. <laughs> All right, Matt. If they don't have another one, tell them they have to play the match again. Yep. Farrell has to play elves, and Luke gets to play Jund. Yeah. I like that. Yep. We have to see if Farrell can do anything besides Jund people. No, you played Elves once. Did he? Yeah. No, I've never he got a it. lot of people. Was it Jund Elves? No, it was Black, black Green. He should have splashed red. For Bloodbraid Elf. And Magus of the Moon. <laughs> Why Magus? I don't know. I saw someone doing that at the uh, Classic. They played red for... Yeah. They played it for Colligan's Command, Magus of the Moon, and Bloodbraid Elf. How, how, how does that go for them? I don't know. I only saw them round one. They weren't at the top tables, I can tell you that. I I wouldn't think they would be. For I there wouldn't think they would. So, did you find out a rolling about the Angel Grace in Banefire? No. No. Oh. Not yet. All right. I, I, I want to know a rolling for that. I don't know why. Yeah. Because that could be a game changer. I'll ask Scott after this round. He was in the middle of a game, so I didn't want to. Uh, ooh, Goober, you want me at Indy? Um... I don't know. I mean, I, if you want my honest recommendation, I would just say play mono red. Yeah. If you don't know what to do, just play mono red and kill people. All right. Yeah. Streamrunner's got something. Let's see what he's got, people. Most people are going to be trying to figure out three of the color mana bases, so they're going to play more shocks than they need to. I mean, that's what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Raptors yeah. would also be pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Any of the aggro decks. I might just play straight blue-green. I don't know. I'm don't probably going to be playing Gruul. Because I... That's just kind of what I have to do, right? Yeah. I've got the tattoo. Um, it is Angel of Grace and Banefire for X over 5. Yeah, so Angel of Grace says if damage would do... If damage would put your life total to less than 1, it becomes 1 instead. Banefire says damage cannot be prevented. So, <laughs> do you die or do you go to 1? Uh, Connor's playing Burn. I've never played Tron ever. Oh, this huh. is for fun. Oh, oh they switched decks. Switch. All right. Yeah. Fair. So at first, like when uh, Joseph like popped up on stream, I was like, "Wait, is that me?" Because like <laughs> of the hair. Like, can you see why I would be confused at first? I I would not understand why you'd be confused looking at someone and be like, "Wait, is yeah. that me?" What? What? Is there a term where I miss Lethal? Not know. Angel's Grace. Angel of Grace. Oh. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, that was the assumption that I was under, but in Patrick Chapin's article on Star City Games, he was saying that Painfire would get around Angel of Grace. When was the last time Patrick Chapin actually played Magic? I don't know. Like, last year? Bant Hexproof. I like it. Bant Boggles. Why am I not surprised? I would love to see you on Sir's Wing and Carnage Tyrant, because that yeah. seems sweet. And Dude. you get to Hadana's climate. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that seems sweet. Yeah? Dude, it's, dude, it's Boggles. For the Boggles player. Yeah. Except we have four and six mana Boggles. What is Soul of the Rapids? I don't know that card. Yeah. Yeah. Is that Hexproof? <laughs> All right, Flying Hexproof. Get him. I'm, oh, one, I'm one of nice Aqua Ninjas. That's actually awesome.
in the yard. Yeah, that hexproof deck seems sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. So, like, yeah, that's what I was trying to get, say, too. Like, it doesn't prevent the damage. It just, like, reduces the amount. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that's kind of how I assumed it would work. But. Yeah. Maybe Patrick Schaefer knows something I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I just want to get a rod of, like, Hasha's Taker did on pre-release weekend. You're going to get a what? Maybe, like, I just want to get a rod of, like, Hasha's Taker did. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I like the... I like how you... I like how um, he suspended, like, his tap attacking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Interesting. <laughs> Why are we playing Relic? Do we not have a threat in hand? Maybe he already just has Natural Tron. Alright. Tron Worm Coil? I don't know. Ooh, that's a Japanese Air Mesa, right? Looks like it. Japanese or Chinese. I can't tell from here. Some of the kanji. Hmm. Why did he not search for the Tron Lands? Who knows? He cast the Worm Coil this turn. The world will never know. And people... Tron is really complicated. I mean, to be fair, like, Joseph's light total against Burn is kind of high. Mm -hmm. He's still at 13, and this is only turn 3 for him. Yeah. That's pretty high, right? I mean, had he had a, the extra Tron land and cast the Worm Coil that's in his hand this turn, I feel like he would have easily won this game. Oh, yeah. Sam Team. Probably wants to go get a forest here. Oh, yeah, did Horcast Nature Slam? Oh, and this way you can cast a Sylvan Scrying to get the tower. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and there he goes. Robert's gone. <laughs> Robert is literally under the table laughing. Yep, he played the forest. <laughs> what did I say? He got the forest so he could hard cast his Sylvan Scrying. And now he's going to get the other Tron piece. Wait, he still doesn't even have all three Tron pieces. He still doesn't have a tower. He has two mines. Oh, that's... Does, is, are these both mines? Is that the issue? Oh! See, I just was under the assumption one was a mine, one was a power plant. But uh, yes, I think that those are just both mines. Oh, okay. That's the issue. Okay. Everything makes a lot more sense now. Connor's just a degenerate and plays with mismatched Tron lands. <laughs> okay, everything makes a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah, we. I, I, I'm aware they swap decks. I still love that I was able to get you under the table laughing. Literally, R O F L. Do you blame me? No. <laughs> All right, Caster Man Deck Frag Tusk. No, this is games two and three, man. Oh, are they postboard? I hope so. For Joseph's sake. Alright, everything makes a lot more sense to me now. I'm sorry, Twitch chat, for being me. Robert's gotta be. Any Jun Shadow? Uh, no, there's no Jun Shadow in the house. Unfortunately not. Yep. Bunch of pretty stock decks. Yep. All right, so what's Joseph going to be able to do here next Dead. Week? Is he dead? Why did you just kiss the skull crack, Connor? 
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're dead. Hold the burn ape. Have you seen that? No. What is it? Um. Yeah. So, we have 20 minutes left. Are they going to play another one? I I really hope so. I think they're finishing the match. Yeah. I uh, no. I think they already finished the match. I know, but I think they're playing another match for us. Is what I'm saying. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got plenty of time. All right, Robert. Yeah. We need a song while they're shuffling. Uh, some sort of a shuffle song. That's not me, man. No, you have to make your own. In the arms of an angel. <laughs> <laughs> In the arms of an angel. You gotta, you gotta bring it back to shuffling somehow. We are shuffling in the arms of an angel. Alright, and then you just gotta do that the entire time they're shuffling. <laughs> we are shuffling in the arms of an angel. <laughs> oh, I'm shuffling in the arms of an angel. <laughs> shuffle, shuffle, that's a lot of damage. Shuffle, shuffle, that's a lot of damage. I think I like that one a little bit more. That was right. a little bit more catchy. Right. Shuffle, shuffle, that's a lot of damage. Shuffle, 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 that's a lot of damage. Shuffle, 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 that's a lot of damage. Shuffle, 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 that's a lot of damage. Shuffle, 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 that's a lot of damage. Shuffle, 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 that's a lot of damage. Shuffle, 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 that's a lot of damage. Shuffle, shuffle. What happens? What happens to Meadows' cards? What? What? That's a lot of damage. <laughs> saying your cards get destroyed whenever you shuffle. It's not really when I shuffle, it's when I handle them. I've seen you shuffle, too. But yeah, when you hold them in your hand, it's... <laughs> I've gotten a lot better about it. No, you haven't. Yeah, I have. You're like, back to the level of a toddler. Yeah. Hey, no, no. With my teamer deck, I, 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 I don't care. Yeah. With speed metal grind. Shut <laughs> up! Hey, let's just do that. Like, sort of rap. Oh, yeah, four days of grace. Yep. There you go. And right, we need Justin back here. <laughs> no, all four members are here. Yeah, we need Luke to come back here and, and take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> we need to sing a sail by all nation, but instead of sail, it's shuffle. Shuffle! <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me today. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So, so how do you think that they sideboard? Mike. Oh yeah. Uh, there's no Jun Shadow. Uh, my dude. My yeah, guy. Unfortunately, my person. Have any Jun Shadow? My. I would assume you're a human at most. If you're not a human, I'm sorry. I assume my human. You should never assume, Robert. It, you know what happens when you assume? Yeah, I'm an. I'm on. Yeah, I'm not a human. I'm a Apache helicopter. Maybe. I identified as an Apache helicopter. Um, buy me gasoline, please. All right. <laughs> I'll fly you to Antarctica. <laughs> Does that mean that I don't have to pay for flights to magic events anymore? I could just, like, hop on your back? <laughs> <laughs> we should invest in a private helicopter. It'd be much cheaper than paying for planes. Not at first, but, like, in the long run, yes. Yeah. I'm a Sasquatch. Okay, he is a human. That person is a human. Not I don't know if you're a man. Oh, you're a man. Okay, cool. Sha, 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 sha. Ninja. So, you know those blue-black ninjas in Legacy? My deck seems pretty sweet. Yeah, instead of like... So, here we are playing Modern, dying to KCI, Tron, and Burn. When are we keep playing blue-black ninjas in Legacy? You Yuriko and you reveal a Force of Will. Five of them. Game five. They're also playing consigned to oblivion, so it's seven. Yeah. Hey, I got Connor that masterpiece current. No, the uh, box topper. Well, I, he got it from me. I didn't give it to him.
So, I have no idea how this matchup goes, honestly. Do you? Um, I feel like it will typically favor Burn. Um, but post-board, I think Tron gets the edge. Yeah, I think it matters how many skull cracks Burn plays. Right, so, a little messed up here for Joseph. He should have Sterns first before playing that basic forest. Yeah. This is slight messed up. I'm a man no, from I mean, Brazil. It's a, it's a pretty big messed up. You're right. I think he realizes it now. Yeah. Well, you live and you learn, right? Yeah. So, I assume he we took... We can't all be Tron Masters. We can't all play our Tron lands. <sighs> it's gone. Dang it, it's another... <laughs> Why do you do this to me, Kyle? Alright, so... What's Connor going to be doing here? Uh, he has two Sacred Foundries. Uh, he has two red-white lands. Is he going to play uh, Eidolon? Yeah, he might draw. He might play Pottery to draw two more cards. There's an Eidolon. With an... Uh, Eidolon? Eidolon of Great Rabble! Uh, so we made us like nature claims this uh, idol alone right now, and then cast our uh, eggs. Well, the issue is he has a Sylvan Scrang here yep. to be able to get Tron next turn. So I think he's doing that. Yep. All right. Jesus. He wants to be able to have Tron next turn. What's up, Lone Reverend? How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. We're cool people. Well, I am. I don't know about Kyle. No, just Robert. Sweet. I'm I'm lame too, and I'm, you're not I'm a, lame. I'm a lukewarm person. <laughs> Nice. What's better than cool? Whip. Lukewarm. Oh, I, I said cool whip. Right, that's fair. That's what have you done to this pen back here, Robert? There's just a pen that's like more bite marks than not. Buddha. It's like he like swallowed the whole thing. Ooh, that's a carn. You know what'll make burn a little bit better? What? When all of its spells become one drops. Oh yeah. Can't wait. Bolt. I no. Hey, what's up, Lillian Bender? You hey, just missed Luke on camera. You missed both Luke's on camera. Yeah. One Luke twice. No, the Luke she loves. Oh, she loves Luke. Yeah, Luke tease. Can we put the other Luke on camera next round then? Why? Luke Brownie. So uh, we can say we put Luke on. Yeah. I mean, I'm down. I'm down to do anything, man. I'm down to clown. Sounds like a plan to me. Hey, and guess what? He's dead. You do four to him, and then you untap, and you do six. No. She's like, no. Just throw the cards at him. Just throw the cards. What? You're dead. What? How? Boo. 